You kind of make me want to camp. Okay, but before we do, let's go to Randy. Hey, Randy, we're cooking. Trace, we are. We're camping truck. We got it going on. So you're always very creative with your recipes. Yes. And are you a big camper? Do you camp with cats? Oh yeah, I camp all the time. No, you know, not at all. Not a okay. Lot, not so, a lot. but what we're gonna make is something. Could you make this at a campsite? This is the whole idea. This is the whole this idea. This is the campsite. It also translates if you want to do it at home. Yeah. But you shouldn't. You should build a, a fire in your backyard yeah, and go out real. in the backyard and do it upright. Bacon wrap chorizo meatloaf with beer can couscous. But this is all in the campfire. He's gonna make campfire. it happen. We're gonna make it real time. I trust. Too. That's all what right. We do. How, what do we so, do? Three ple the three P's. Yeah. Planning, preparation, yeah. and packaging. Right. Successful camping. Okay. Okay. And we'll get into the packaging and, and what you should be putting and what you shouldn't be doing. Yeah. But the first thing you need to pack is beer. <laughs> That's right? not a problem for no. most people. And I mean, right, with this recipe, we could do chicken stock or we could do beer. In your cooler, you know, sometimes you're limited space. Yeah. Beer's a little bit more important. So what you do is you drink <laughs> about three quarters of the beer. Yeah. And then if you have like six or seven people, you have to drink six or seven three quarters. Yes. Just you're, you're getting dinner ready. Well, right? you have to do that because yes. yeah, you're getting prepared for dinner. And then you leave the last quarter. You take the the top off, and you can do that with your you know, Swiss Army knife or whatever you want to do there. So you're heating it up. Heating it up. We'll put it right on the coals of the campfire. Okay. And then get some couscous and packaging again. Get rid of this kind of stuff and just put this in your in your cooler. You know what it is and where okay. you bought it. Okay. All you ready? right. So you want to keep with like the shorter grains and the smaller grains because you don't want to cook spaghetti in a beer can. It's just not going to work. Right. <laughs> right. So you can take a look. And we're getting a little simmer in there. Yeah. Now the measuring cups and everything else, you can do that. But couscous generally, if you just put enough in where it almost comes to the top, yeah. a little bit of liquid. Hey, how you doing? I like where this is going already. You like where this is going? This is good. Well, there's going to be a lot of flavor. I can tell already. Couscous is just, a, it's a grain that's full of flavor, but throw beer in there. And then you can get the little spiced ones, right? And then so what good. you're going to need to do, a touch of olive oil, right? Just yeah. pillow, just to keep it a little, bit, a little fluffy, right? Mm -hmm. And then your packaging, Ziploc okay. bag, everything. Yeah. So we'll get the veggies in there a little bit sooner, a little bit later, sorry. And then herbs. We'll just toss those babies in there as Don't well. Don't use the herbs you find on the campsite. That could be poison ivy. Well, you might want to take a Bring look around. Bring your own herbs. Yeah. So this, you're going to stir it once. Just as it goes in, you go to the herbs. Give it a little toss like this. Away we go. Now the best part is walk away. Okay, that's done. That's done. doing it, its well, own thing. It'll do its own thing. Yeah. Preparation. Bacon. Bacon. Lots right? of bacon. So what I did is I put it on a little parchment paper, a little bit of wax paper. Yeah. And you know, you might want to get creative at home and do a little bacon weave. Oh. It's, so it's, a, it's just beautiful. You can roll this up and you can put it in your cooler. You bust it out and you're like, hey, look at everybody. I got my bacon ready. Look what I just saw. Yeah. Right? I just and it just it up. happens to be braided. <laughs> right? <laughs> Who knows how that happened? <laughs> um, Italian sausages, chorizo sausages, any kind of sausage you want to use. But the, the more important story here is they're already seasoned. Okay. So you don't have to worry about doing salt and pepper and everything else. Yeah. You put it in a Ziploc bag and you pack it like this. It doesn't take a lot of space in your cooler. You, you flattened it all? Flattened it out and I'm going to show you why. Okay. We're just going to cut the bags well, like this. it's good for packing if it's like that, for yeah, sure. Yeah, for sure. And then there's more room for beer. Because mm. you're going to make a lot of couscous, of right? Mm -hmm. Now, you don't want to get your hands dirty because camping, you know, there's not a lot of places to wash your hands. Right. Just cut the bag a little bit. And, and so you oh. put um, the pork on top of the pork. Oh, yeah. You see the theme <laughs> here, right? You see the theme? So it's there's good one. good veggie uh, meal here. Recipe. My wife's going to hate this because she always washes these bags. I'm like, what are you doing? You oh, can't I wash. get that. Do you do that? Yeah, I understand that. That's crazy talk. Yeah, no. You know what? Reuse, reduce, recycle. It's okay. all about reusing whatever you can. We'll use that for something else later, I there promise. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so now we've got pork on top of pork. We've got a little bit of smoked cheese. The smoked cheese oh, you can do at home, is? right? A little bit of smoked mozzarella. One. I actually don't know where you're two. going with this. You don't have a clue where I'm going with this? Not really. This is going to be awesome. It's a campfire. It's a campfire. All you have is a campfire, right? Now keep in mind as well, campfire, tinfoil to camping is kind of like duct tape to life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you right? need it. You need it. It goes everywhere. Bring a lot. Check this out. See? And then we just go, hello. So you're going to roll it into a big cheese and pork delicacy. Bacon bowl, right? And then we just do this. And we can actually leave the parchment on. Oh, you can? Yeah, because that's going to stop it from sticking to the foil. We don't okay. have to butter that. And then we just come right. back the other way with the foil. Yeah. And make sure you buy the good foil. Yeah. That cheap foil just you doesn't don't want work it ripping out for on us. You. It's like cheap duct tape. It doesn't work. Twist that's it right. up. Oh, this is the good stuff. Oh, yeah. This no, is solid good industrial. Now. Okay. The idea. It's like a big pork candy. <laughs> yeah. 
Sure. So here we go. We got our pork candy. Yeah. And you're going to take some of your coals of your fire and you're just going to push off to the side and that goes on. Put it right there in the coals. Right on. Okay. okay. So now. And we walk away again? We walk away. <laughs> we walk away. Couscous. Couscous. It's there starting to bubble. Our starting couscous bubble. is starting to bubble. Get our plate, right? So at the last second. It smells good. We do veggies. Okay, that's nice. Right? You incorporated vegetables. Got a little vegetables in there. I know that's we're good. camping and you're going to live on like beef jerky and prosciutto and stuff, but this come on. This is good stuff. This is all right. Well, that's hot. Yeah, it is hot. It's that's why warm. I'm not touching it. It's a little it. warm. We could probably use one more minute, but check this out. We're going to uh, go with it. With your chef hands. Simmer down. The beautiful thing about this yeah. is you're actually left with a cool ring mold. Oh, cool. Yeah. All right. That's awesome. So then, the important thing is you're going to cook that for like six minutes to eight minutes per side, especially if it's really hot. Yeah. And then let it sit just off the fire. So six times eight times four, help me out here, oh, 16, I don't know. 32, 32 <laughs> minutes. Add that up and right? then cut it. And then let it rest for at least 10 minutes so all the juices come back. Okay. And then, oh, oh my, my start. gosh, it's oh oozing, boy. Kevin. Oh, boy. Look Sharp at that. serrated knife. You can cut right through. And as you can see, the cheese is oozing out. You can go with the pork right there. What just happened? Now hold oh on. Oh my gosh. Hold on. We go back to the packaging, I'm right? I'm camping with you, Randy. Okay, we got this like homemade barbecue stuff, barbecue sauce we do at the farmhouse that people kind of like. Once again, you put packaged it in, a bag, in your little right? Ziploc bag. Oh, look how fancy I am camping. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Stop it. Right? And then check it out. A little bit of olive oil to complete the recipe. And then some chives and basil on top. Give it up for Randy Felton. There we go, guys. That, Campfire that is the best. one of the best camping recipes I've ever seen. You want to go camping with me now, don't yeah. you? Let's go. Citywide.ca for the recipe. Let's go to break. So camping is so good.